Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on perimeter. So in this video we're just going to cover the basic skill of calculating the perimeter of a 2D shape. Uh, but first of all, uh, what does the word perimeter actually mean? So the perimeter is just the distance around the edge of a 2D shape. So we'll start here with a basic example of a rectangle. So a rectangle has two pairs of equal sides. So the first pair is this side here which is 3 centimeters, and the side opposite which is also 3 centimeters. And then we have the same with this side that's 11 centimeters. The opposite side is also equal to 11 centimeters. So the perimeter then is the distance around the edge of the shape. Uh, you could just call it P for short if you want. Uh, and all we have to do to find that is just add 3 plus 3 plus 11 plus 11. Uh, and if you add all of this up, you should get 28 centimeters. Okay, so let's move on to look at a more difficult example now. So we have a compound shape here. So a compound shape is where we've just fused two or more shapes together. In this case, we've got two rectangles that are fused together, uh, like so. So you've got this rectangle in the bottom right here, and you've got the rectangle in the left here. So that's why this is called a compound shape. Uh, but in order to work out the perimeter, we need to know what all the sides are. And as you can see, we're missing this side length here, E to D, and we're missing this side length here, D to C. Uh, luckily they're fairly straightforward to work out. As you can see, uh, this side here is parallel to the line ED and so is this line here. So that means that in order to calculate ED, all we have to do is subtract 5 from 7 and that gives us 2. So ED equals 2. I'm going to use a different colour here just to um, highlight this line DC. Um, and we can do the same sort of thing. So the line A to B, this is, uh, that's equal to 12 and this is parallel to DC, and so is the line FE, and that's equal to 3. So DC is just the difference between these two sides, so that's 12 minus 3, which equals 9. So now we're in a position to work out the perimeter because we have the missing side lengths. Uh, so perimeter, or P for short, is going to be equal to 12, uh, 2, sorry, plus 9, and then we'll just go around the sides, plus 5, plus 12, plus 7, plus 3. And if you add all of these up, uh, you should get a value of 38. Uh, there's no units in this case, so we'll just leave our answer as 38. Okay, so moving on, uh, we have another compound shape this time, um, but it's slightly trickier because we have to deal with this semicircle. So we need to work out the distance around the edge of it. Uh, so let's just read the question. A, B, C, D, E is a compound shape consisting of a rectangle and a semicircle. So we know that already. Calculate the perimeter of the shape to three significant figures. Okay, so it sounds like we're going to need to use the calculator here. Um, so uh, let's just deal with the rectangle part first, seeing as that that's fairly straightforward. Uh, so you can see that this bit here is equal to 6, that's A to B. We know that a rectangle has two pairs of opposite equal sides. Um, so these two sides here are equivalent, so that means that this side here is also equal to 6. We don't need to worry about the line A to D, uh, because the perimeter is just the distance around the outside of the shape. Uh, and this, this side here is on the inside uh, of the overall uh, compound shape that is. So now we need to deal with the distance around the edge of the semicircle um, and the way we're going to do that is with the formula uh, circumference equals uh, pi times diameter. Uh, but in this case we're dealing with a semicircle so we only need half the circumference um, so we're going to just go, uh, call this distance equals pi times diameter divided by 2. Uh, so what's the diameter? Well the diameter is 13 uh, because that's the distance across the edge of the circle through the middle of the circle uh, and we're told that this is a semicircle so we know that the diameter is 13. Uh, so we just plug the value of 13 uh, into this formula here so we get 13 pi over 2 as the uh, distance around the edge of the semicircle. Uh, so that's going to be equal to 6.5 pi. Uh, so the total perimeter then, P for short, uh, is going to be equal to this 6 plus 6 plus 13 plus this 6.5 pi. Uh, and then all we're going to do is stick this in the calculator. So we've got 6 plus 6 plus 13 plus 6.5 times pi uh, and that gives us 45.4 uh, to three significant figures as the question asks 
so P equals 45.4. Uh, again, we're not given any units, so we'll just leave our answer as it is. So if you found this video useful and you'd like to practice some perimeter-based exam style questions, uh, why not visit our online exam, which you can find through our revision platform. Uh, if you take the exam, you'll find a variety of different question types, uh, plenty of questions to practice, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them, which will allow you to keep track of the areas that you need to improve. Uh, so if you're interested, click the link below, it'll take you straight there.